But you know when you're out riding making a video and you forget this, <laughs> plug the microphone in, Bob. It doesn't do a whole lot of good without that, does it? And now we can start over. You just end up with a bunch of wind noise. <laughs> well, hello, friends. Coach Bob with you today. And today, man, if we got some great news, man. I mean, we got great news. First off, I want to apologize for not having a video out on this past Wednesday. Um, Baba had a uh, chemo treatment this week. And things got kind of crazy. Nothing went bad. Everything, In fact, everything went great. I was going to turn there, but I think I'm going to go straight. Um, things actually went very, very good. And she had scans done on Wednesday. There was no significant change in either direction. So things are holding. And uh, that's uh, what we're really looking for at this point. So, uh, But it's been a busy week. But no, nothing to complain about. Life is great. In fact, life is better than great. There's a lot of good going on in the background that I've been kind of working on behind the veil. <laughs> All right, so what is going on behind the veil that could make this channel any better? I mean, my goodness, the channel's so great and you guys make it so wonderful. It's just, things are just going great. But, so there is a fella that, uh, that I work with named John. Uh, I'll just call him John. <laughs> could that be his name? It could. We'll call him Johnny the Fox. Yeah, you know, I don't know if you remember the old song, uh, Johnny the Fox Meets. I'll let you fill in the blank. It's done by a band. If you can finish the name, you can uh, drop a comment down below with the name of the band and the name of the song. Uh, you know, maybe we'll send you something. I don't know. Maybe we'll have a drawing on that too and send you a little gift. But anyway, he is Johnny the Fox as far as I'm concerned because he's sly and he's cool and he's young and all of that. He's got depressed $100 bills in his pocket. Um, anyway, I've been talking to Johnny the Fox on the phone and uh, this guy, he's 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 a professional dude, man. He uh, he has his business together and I really appreciate people who are upfront and honest when it comes to this channel. He is my, uh, we'll call him my BRP rep because I've been looking to do some things and I asked him questions and he was brutally honest with me about what he could and could not do. And then he honestly, he over delivered. And I, I'm just gonna tell you, it's gonna be super cool, the things that we have coming up that we get to look at from the perspective of a older, larger in stature. You know, I'm six foot two, 200 and something pounds to be able to ride some of the things we're gonna get to ride. So let's talk about that. Uh, but before we get going, if you would, subscribe to the channel. Give it a big old fat thumbs up. Don't give it a skinny thumbs up. In fact, go eat a donut and then give it a thumbs up. <laughs> Let there be a little sugar on that thumb. Make it sweeter. Um, so what are we getting for the channel that you're going to get to see ride? And what are we going to do with it? Um, we're going to get a Riker Rally. Yeah, we're going to get a Riker Rally. Now, I'm going to get to keep it for just a little over a month uh, and run it through its paces. I asked John, hey, man, can I really ride this thing? Can I really put it through the old Coach Bob three paces? I want to do some acceleration tests, braking tests. It has kind of an off-road sport mode. I want to put this thing on a dirt road like they do, like, like it's advertised to do. You see nobody do this stuff. I want to actually do it. I want to, I want to let the machine speak for itself. I believe in it. Um, because I've, I've met some folks who are Riker riders, but they're all younger than me and they're all way smaller than me. So I do look forward to doing that. So what are some of the things I'm gonna do with the Riker rally? And this is gonna give those on this channel who are considering the Riker as an option. This will give them some real, you know, hard fact look-see at it. It's not mine to keep. It's just simply, like I said, a, a loaner for between four and five weeks depending on how quickly it gets delivered. But it's supposed to be delivered sometime next week. Um, so I'm hoping everything shows up ready to go out of the box and that I don't have to do anything to it, you know, servicing and that sort of things. But I did a video a year or so ago on the braking distance, the acceleration and all that stuff on the Spider. I'm gonna see if I can't pull that data and do a side-by-side -side comparison. The zero to 60, what is it like? Uh, I want to do the braking distance at 20 miles an hour, 40 miles an hour, 60 miles an hour. 
to see how quickly the rally stops compared to the spider. Um, I, I'm really interested in the acceleration from zero to 60 because you don't shift. Um, we're also going to talk about weight. We're going to talk about uh, how wide it is, how tall it is, how how long it is. We're going to have real experience from Coach Vic. Can now is she capable? Now Coach Vic's pretty strong, but we have a we have a lot of uh, people on this channel that are disabled that, that struggle with uh, lower body movement. Um, if Coach Vic can get on the, the, the Riker, then you can. And she's going to see if she can. She's not sure that she can. But she's going to try. She's going to try. We want to see what she can do. And this gives us a real opportunity to see if this might be something, you know, because we've discussed many, many times about her getting a Riker. Um, so this would be something to see if she would want one. So we're definitely going to be doing the look, man. We're going to be doing the look. We're going to see what's going on with this thing. We're going to give it the run through. I'm going to put some miles on it, too. I'm not just going to ride it in town. I want to see what it's like. I'm not going to do a mega tour. I'm going to tell you that. But I will be doing at least a two, 300-mile trip just to test it, just to put it through the paces, throw a backpack on it. It's not going to have a lot of the stuff on it, I don't believe, to have luggage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out a way to mount a backpack or even wear a backpack to where if you buy one, because, you know, when we got the spider out of the box, it was tour ready. I mean, there were things you could do to make it more comfortable, but there are people who want to get the Riker to ride it, not only in town, but to do that small occasional tour. And if I can do it with a backpack, then you'll be able to do it with the BRP gear that you can mount on it. So I'm super excited about trying this thing. I, I, I want to, I want to see it, and I want to ride it, and I want to experience it firsthand. I get emails galore. Uh, I'm not going to, you know, do the. I got hundreds of emails a day. I don't, um, but I probably get 25 a month asking me about the Riker. Private emails. Do you have any experience with the Riker? I'm looking at buying one. I'm thinking about getting one. I've got a question about this. I've got a question about that. And I've told them, if I can get my hands on one, I'll let you know. So I asked Johnny the Fox, and he said, no, you can't get a Riker. Are you kidding me, Coach Bob? You ask for too much. All you do is, every time you get on the phone, you got two words. Can you give me? And thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason I can say thank you is because when I say, can you give me, can you get me something? He delivers. He does. Um, so super, super excited about the Riker Rally over the next 10 days. In fact, I'm just going to be honest with you. I was reticent about making this announcement because I'm like, what's going to go wrong to where it's not delivered, to where something happens? But I just trust this guy, and I'm, I'm throwing it out there because I really believe this is going to happen. I guess we will know soon enough. Uh, so definitely stand by for some super cool uh, Riker data coming up and Riker experiences coming up. I I'm really fired up about this, as you can tell. I I it's just going to be super cool. So that's good. They're it's going to be here supposedly through... September 1st, which means I'll have content from starting in the next probably two weeks. Extend a big thanks to BRP and Johnny the Fox for all you do for us. We appreciate it. Be sure down below, put a big old thank you to Johnny the Fox. So what else is going on? And yes, there's more. So sometime after that is picked up in uh, September, between then and Biketoberfest, I don't have a date on this yet. I am supposed to have, are you ready? A new or newer, it's a long, it's gonna be a loaner, so it's obviously a demo. It's not gonna be something that has never been ridden. Probably something that's like, you know, in the riding school that they loan out to people, that sort of thing. Anyway, I'm gonna have a Can-Am Spider RT Limited to ride for probably four to six weeks again something like that an opportunity to put the new one through the test 
Um, the weight has changed a little bit on the machine, so it's the same uh, performance package as far as horsepower and that sort of stuff. I don't expect to feel a difference in engine performance. But I'm curious of how it's going to feel in the curves. I'm curious how it's going to feel uh, on braking distance. Uh, acceleration, is it going to be exactly the same? Um, what about the geometry, the riding geometry? It's going to have running boards on it. it, it you know, what about the uh, windshield geometry, that sort of stuff? What's Coach Vic going to think about the back? Because with the Limited, it's going to have more niceties for her. Heated seat, heated grips, that sort of stuff. And we'll be approaching that time of year where we have the occasional cold day in October. Um, I hope to have it for Biketoberfest, and I hope to have it for uh, Deland Spider Rally. Now, one of the, the, the little things that we kind of ran into, because loaners don't have trailer hitches on them, and if I'm going to take Coach Vic with me, and my intent is to, not, not to Biketoberfest. She hates Biketoberfest. Y'all know that. In fact, the other night I asked her if she was going, and she's like, I'll go if you beg me. <laughs> I ain't begging. Um, because I'll get over there and she'll be miserable, and I don't want her to be miserable. I want her to stay home if she doesn't want to go. But she really loves the Spider Rally. She loved the Deland Spider Rally. So if you've never gone to the Deland Spider Rally, we are going. We're going. And uh, it's going to be really, really good. It's in November. I don't have the dates yet. If I find them, I'll drop them right up here. Could something happen? Always something could happen. I mean, we are real people, you know, but that's our intent. We're going. We're going. Unless there's some sort of cataclysmic event or some sort of crazy thing, we're going. So, and we're going to be on a new Spider RT Limited. New to us, obviously not brand new. It's a loaner. And so I, I told I told Johnny to Fox, I said, hey, man, we've got to have a trailer hitch on this thing. And he goes... Would you be interested, if I can get you a trailer hitch, would you be interested in installing it on the machine? I'm like, absolutely I would. Um, which is great content for those of you out there who have never installed something like this. This is an opportunity for me to install the trailer hitch and you get to see me throw tools and cuss and all that stuff. I, I am a little nervous about, you know, installing the trailer hitch. Hopefully it's not too complex. Hopefully there's not too much that has to come apart on the back of it in order to hook through the wiring harness and all that stuff. But we'll figure all that out. We always do. Um, but the trailer hitch actually came in yesterday. And that's when I said, you know, I am going to be, th apparently this is really going to happen because the trailer hitch is here. The trailer hitch is here. So uh, that tells me he is on the ball and that things are going to happen in the time frame that he's telling me it's going to happen, which is pretty darn cool. So we've got some super nice things that are going to be happening on this channel and I want to thank him for giving us the opportunity to work with them and 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 be able to to share this stuff one of the things that i did not want to do and i had this conversation with him a couple of times i don't want to be a brp ambassador by title i want to actually be an ambassador i want to be someone you know ambassadors do a lot of things you know they're just not yes men they're not people that just go uh -huh, uh -huh. they're not that they're guys who are willing to give you the truth and to work between you and the other people out there. And that's what I am. I am that middleman. I'm your sounding board. I ask the hard question. I do ask, you know, hey, what about this? What about that? Why can't we get this part? Why can't we get that part? The, the news is not always good, and, I'll, and I give you the truth. And I plan on doing the same thing with the Spider and with the Riker Rally. Because... I want you to have the real information, what it feels like. I want you to know what it feels like for a 61-year-old man with neuropathy to ride a motorcycle like that. Because it matters how it feels. Because you're going to be riding it, and you may be like me. You may not be 5'7", 110 pounds. You may, you may be 6'4", and 260. And I, I want you to have data that, that's going to give you real teeth so that you know what you're biting into because it's important so is there anything else yes there's more <laughs>
Um, I've got some new things coming in, uh, things that Coach Vic was been asking me about. One of the things, it's, uh, I've got one of the new BRP flannels coming in. Um, Coach Vic is a flannel person, as you know. So she's like, I don't want to buy one because I'm picky about what I wear. I want you to get one. And magically, I've got one appearing here soon. Um, I've also, there's a, they call it a puffy overriding shirt or puffy overshirt. It looks like a uh, down jacket, a down hybrid jacket that is not just, you know, for riding. It's more a hangout jacket. Um, do a review on that. I think I, I'm really excited about that. Those look really nice. They're not down filled. They're the, um, they're a poly fill. So I wear, a, you, you guys have seen me wear my fox jacket a lot. I have a, a fox uh it's, you know, the, the off-road riding, motorcycle riding, the Fox brand. I have a Fox polyfill jacket that I wear all the time. It just stays in my truck. I go into a doctor's office. They got it cold in there. I go into a movie. They got it cold in there. I go into a restaurant. It's cold. I throw that jacket on, zip it halfway up. It looks good. It feels good. It's not heavy. And that's how this polyfill jacket, I hope, is going to feel. I'll let you know because... Those that I really like that kind of stuff, and I really wear that stuff a lot. And there are some other things that are going to be coming coming here for the um, for the spider. Um, it, it's going to be neat. We got some really cool things going on, so I am super excited, as you can tell. Um, so if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you are because you're going to get some you're going to get to see some cool stuff. You're going to get to see a comparison between a 19, a new one, and a Riker. Man, it don't get no sweeter than that, man. It don't get no sweeter than that. And you're going to get to see some cool new riding gear coming in. It's going to be awesome. Um, what else? I am in the process of testing an, uh, an off-brand, that JF Eguo, I think is the, the name of it. It's a battery jump start pack. Yes, I've got another one. Um, I wanted to try. The company that I did the last review on, I really like the, the jump start pack and I keep it in the little bag, back bag on my Tiger because what it does is it allows me to inflate a tire. It allows me to do things, jump start, uh, charge things. Um, and the product works well. It's not expensive and it works well. I got the bigger one because I wanted something for my truck. I wanted something that would not struggle to fill a big truck tire. I wanted something that, you know, and I've been running it in Coach Vic's van. And Coach Vic's van is just, we'll just say it's a little cantankerous. It's getting long in the tooth. So once I get it run through all of its paces, I'm looking to, I'm looking for dead batteries. <laughs> I'm looking to jump start stuff. Um, and that's the hardest part is finding things that need jump starting. Just quite honest with you. Um, it's easy to find a motorcycle and a, and a lawnmower. I mean, I've jump started all that with it. I have no reason to question it. You know, it, it does that. I've already done that. That's nothing. But I'm curious, will it jump start a big V8 truck, pickup truck, or a, or a diesel pickup truck, a, a, D, a big GMC or the big Ram 2500 with the diesel engine in it, that sort of stuff. That's what I'm looking for to see if it'll jump start those. It says it will, and if I can run it through those paces, I will. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find a dead battery or not, but I'm looking. I got it with me everywhere I go, you know, trying to look for people and that, that are struggling that might be uh, broken down or whatever. I'm stopping, hey, can I help you? Um, so a lot, just a lot going on right now with the channel in the background. I'm really working diligently to give you some facts and figures and machines. I want to say this too, uh, I really enjoy my philosophical videos and you guys, man, you guys light it up. When I do my little philosophical videos on life and, 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 and accepting things and working hard and doing better. Your response is absolutely incredible. I'm going to tell you, uh, the, one of the reasons I love making those, one of the many reasons, first, I, I think that there's, there's something to add out there that people need to hear. But the other thing is that the exchange that I have with you guys, it, it, it is amazing. You know, uh, there's a guy, he lost his wife in the last few months. He has uh, a lot of children. And 
just to hear his story, I would have never known, you know. I, I get so much information on the internet from you guys, and it's wonderful. Friends that I've never met, to hear your stories and what you've gone through. Uh, it just, it's really awesome. It's really awesome. It's humbling to me to see all that. So those videos obviously are going to keep coming too. I was going to do one of those today. And Coach Vic's like, uh, Bob, you, you don't you don't need to do that today. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So a lot going on. Make sure you have your notification bells turned on because that's important. That way you know what's coming up. All right. All right, well, there you have it. Another one in the books. I'm going to head to the house, do a little editing. Then I'm going to run outside and sweat for a few hours. <laughs> So you do me a favor till next time, you, yes you, go out by the motorcycle of your dreams, eat right, take care of yourself, and remember, if you're not having fun, you are doing it wrong. Now you go seize the day, and I'll see you on the road real, real soon.